For most people, the idea of having a six-figure net worth is the ultimate mountaintop. Scary, perhaps reachable, but only with great preparation and a lot of hard, slow climbing. But those that have made it to that first $100,000 often say that the next 100K is much easier. Why is that first milestone so difficult and how do we reach it faster? Charlie Munger is the vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, the investment conglomerate owned by Warren Buffett. He's a billionaire, but he has some clear advice for those just starting to work their way up the tax brackets. The first 100,000 is a but you gotta do it. I don't care what you have to do. Find a way to get your hands on $100,000. After that, you can ease off the gas a little bit. You might think that with billions in his net worth, Charlie had long ago stopped thinking about hundreds of thousands of dollars, but apparently he still remembers that first 100K as a major battle, the biggest in his life. Why is it so much easier to build wealth once you hit that first 100,000? Because after that, your money will build wealth for you. If you don't have that level of net worth, you probably haven't built your wealth by a significant amount of investments. At this stage, the money you're putting towards your net worth is from your labor, not from accumulating investments. That means you are literally working harder to generate that first $100,000 than you will be to generate the next, because for that next milestone, your money will probably be doing the work for you. Let me show you what I mean with a common example. If you make $60,000 a year, which is double the national average, so it's a good amount, you're making $5,000 a month. In many cities, more than half of that will go towards your rent. But to keep the numbers simple, let's say you're a superstar and put $500 away every month. At the end of the year, you take your $6,000 in savings and invest it. Let's say your investments earn a 10% annual return. How much will your $6,000 of savings earn in one year? $600. Your investments earned, if it was a good year, only $100 more than you were able to save in a month. So next year, you deposit $6,000 more to the new account of $6,600. Okay, now we're cooking. Your investments at the start of year two amounts to $12,600. Great, how much is 10% of that? $1,260 annually. That's a good amount of money, but it's not as much as you put away yourself every year. So you see, it will take a while for your investment income to overtake your wage income. That means for the first 100K, your labor will be making most of your money. The example above is even a very optimistic example. How many people put away $500 every month? But you can see that in just one year, you doubled your investment income. That kind of progress is highly motivating, which is another reason that earning money when you already have money is easier. Not only does the math work out, 10% of bigger amounts is always going to be bigger, but as humans, we're very emotional with everything we do. When you see the amounts stacking up, you'll feel more motivated and you'll start hustling harder to save money, earn more and put more into the pot. All of this compounds into even higher returns. As your investment wealth grows, you will see it contributing more and more to your net worth, but you don't really see numbers that have an emotional impact until the entire pie gets big enough. Another reason it's easier to make money faster after that first 100K is that you can take on more risk if you have a higher net worth. Imagine that a marvelous business opportunity is presented to two friends. One friend has $100,000 saved up, the other has $20,000. They have a third friend, a genius, who wants to invent a revolutionary device that will make them millions if he can get it working. He just needs $20,000. The friend with $100,000, while 20K is still a lot, can spare the money. Even if the venture fails, he has a high net worth and can rebuild fairly quickly, so long as he hasn't made a bunch of other failing investments at the same time. But the friend with only $20,000, if he bets on this and it fails, he'll lose everything. He'll have no buffer for emergency expenses and getting laid off or a family tragedy could drive him into bankruptcy. It's likely that even though the friend with $20,000 has the amount, they won't do it. Or if they do it and it fails, it will set them back years and years of effort and earning. So maybe the friend with a lower net worth doesn't invest, which is a smart decision for him risk-wise, but the friend with the higher net worth does. And the idea works and makes him millions. He was able to absorb the risk and that made it easier for him to gain the benefits. Investment risks are not the only things that open up if you have a higher net worth. You can also take a chance on quitting your day job and starting your own business. If you have $100,000, it's likely you can afford to live frugally for a year and take a chance on yourself as an entrepreneur. Owning your own business is risky, but could make you more money than a nine to five in the long run. Only someone with a high net worth can really afford that risk, especially if they have a family to support. A higher net worth means you can take on other risks, such as leaving a stable but low paying job to one based on bonuses and commissions 
that could possibly make much more, or making a large but risky purchase such as real estate in a potentially up and coming area. Taking on greater risk across your portfolio means a much higher potential for larger returns. Plus, if you do fail, a high net worth means you won't get knocked totally off track. Wage versus investment income and risk tolerance are both reasons why the first 100K feels so much harder. But now that we know that, how do we speed our way up the hill to that first milestone? Remember, this early stage is all about how much you earn and how much of that you can dedicate to compounding investments. Increase your contribution to savings and investments by reducing your spending as much as possible. If you want to grow your net worth, you need to set up a budget so that all of your money doesn't immediately fly back out the door. Some expenses are necessary and unavoidable, but here are a few examples of ways you can save that may not feel awesome, but will make a big difference. Downsize your living space. Can you make a studio apartment work? Awesome, that could save you hundreds of dollars every month. Make dining out a special occasion. In LA, for example, even a simple dinner out at an average restaurant with your significant other can cost $50. Dine out once a month or only when you're celebrating and pocket away those savings. The other thing you can do to help yourself get that first 100K faster is earn more. Easier said than done, I know, but if you can transfer to a better job, do it. At least take a look at what's out there. At least advocate for yourself at work and start asking about a raise. If you don't ask, nobody will ask for you. You can also start a side gig or get part-time work to help you earn more. Remember, this level of effort is only necessary for the first 100K. Afterwards, your money will earn more than you can and a second job shouldn't be necessary. If you do get a raise or you start making money on the side, do not immediately spend this money on a new car. One way that people sabotage their savings is by immediately raising their standard of living when they get a raise or another income stream. When you get more money, do not alter your standard of living at all. Simply take the additional funds and invest it. Pretend like you don't even have access to it. Invest it immediately so you are not tempted to get a Range Rover or something else you don't need. Keep in mind that for investments to pay off, you have to give it time. Your first investment is not likely to skyrocket. You have to balance failures over time with success to see any return, so put it away and don't touch it. Another way to put this is don't put money towards investments that you will need soon or that you need to live. That's why if you start to earn more, don't raise your expenses. Put that money into investments to help you reach that first 100K faster. Over time, you'll get better at taking risks, making investments and riding market cycles. Making money will come easier to you. But if you really want to succeed, Get started today. Start by making a budget that leaves something for investments every month. Then stick to your budget and start looking for ways to increase your income. If you do this starting today, you're giving yourself as much time as possible to grow your net worth and that will pay off. We started this explanation with a quote from a billionaire. The first 100K is far away from a billion dollars. So how do these billionaires make their money? What do you need to become a billionaire? I'll give you a hint. It's not cutting out fancy dinners. Click on this vid to find out.